Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are talking about a brand new series, series 10 on circles. This is episode number 3. Friends, we are going to today quickly review what is meant by major arc, minor arc and semicircle. So let's dive right in. Now we know this is a circle and then what we do is we take any two points on the circle. Now the part of the circle between the two points which are on the circle is called an arc. ARC. So we have a circle with center O, let's say, and we took any two points, let's call this point A, and let's call this point point B. Now the part of the circle, so any part, any part of circle which is between the two points is called an arc. So as you can see from here, so the smaller part of the circle between the two points highlighted in bright bold white this one is called minor arc this is minor arc why minor because it is the smaller portion so as you can imagine then the other one highlighted in bright yellow which is this part which is the bigger of the two is which is a longer part will be called a major arc all right now in this case what we have done we have taken the same circle center O and the two points that we have taken are actually we have drawn a diameter we saw diameter is nothing but a chord that passes through the center of a circle and let's say these two points point A and point B now they are on the opposite side of a diameter so now what happens is that at this point so the two lengths the minor arc and the major arc are actually the same right because this is a diameter so you will see that these two parts are equal so each of these parts is called a semicircle semi means half half of a circle so this is half of a circle this is half of a circle so here just to illustrate the point I have just separated them a little bit so you can see so this is one half of a circle this is one half of a circle now also what do we mean by circumference of a circle so we have a circle now circumference means so imagine that you take a thread you start at any point let's say we start over here and then we take our thread and we try to trace it exactly we go over this exactly throughout this till we get back to the same point then if you want to find out the length we straighten the thread and find out the length that is called circumference that is the total length of complete circle or total length of the circle there is no need for complete the total length of circle meaning again you you take a thread you walk over the circle till you get back to the same point with your thread and then what you do is you then straighten the thread out like this and this length so from here this entire length let's call this L so this length is the length of the thread that is the circle is this long even though the shape obviously is around and it's a circle with center O but circumference is the total length of the circle and we have seen in our earlier grades that this length is it is 2 pi r where we have also said pi is equal to 22 by 7 it's a special number which is expressed as the ratio of 22 by 7 and if r where what is r r is the radius of the radius of the circle if r is the radius of the circle then this entire length of the circle is 2 times pi times r 